have dealt with our preschool self. Now we will deal with our school self. So, the ego strength here is competence. At the school is all about learning something. Learning a skill, whether maybe it's writing or reading or uh, uh, geography, science, maths, hmm? music, whatever, you know. All the rubbish. <laughs> no, it's not rubbish. It's very I'm important. Hmm? Uh, really speaking, you compare ourselves with Chinese students or the Instead of that, we are trying. We we were more made into a machines of getting good marks, memorizing concepts, and you know comparing. Uh, so one guy gets first rank, other guy gets second rank. So there is a lot of this inferiority complex being developed. So uh, in this here, if at all we are uh, respected our own natural learning abilities, and you know, uh, there is always the same, you know. A fish cannot be judged by how it can climb the trees. Yeah. Fish, if you give a task of fish to swim, it will win. Or if you ask the fish to climb the trees, it cannot do that. Yes. So most of the times, uh, this is what happens in our schools. Like you know, we they instead of knowing us or instead of helping us, uh, they will try to push us into some kind of thing which you are naturally not good at. So it's better we know what is what we naturally are good at and try to acquire those things. And uh, if at all that happens, inferiority complex may develop. And we are not very much confident in uh, academics or in business or in career because there is a lot of inferiority complex. And otherwise, if we are not naturally aligned to our own skill set, our own nature, talent, automatically we will move towards industry. Industry means working hard. Industry means uh, practicing that knowledge, applying that knowledge. So primary challenges faced are judgment by one's peer, fitting in the society, competence, interdependence. So these are the primary challenges it faces during this time. 
and most of the times you know the name calling bullying you know, all these things will affect us a lot even for me it was very uh, horrible like you know i used to uh, people used to call me uh, something and you know I, I, it, it it made me more suppressed i condemned myself and you know it became a kind of health issue for me so it's very important for us to remove those traumas so whatever has happened and and also shaming done by teachers teachers also do lot of shaming uh, at least in our schools like you know what they should do when we don't do what they uh, want us to do they will make us remove the shirts and stand in the sun hmm? and uh, you know lot of shaming happens so all these things we have to release from the system so that we will be really free of all these controls these are all something which is controlling from inside hmm? yeah so potential issues from this development stage are like you know feeling self conscious in social gatherings so when we have more inferiority complex you know we don't express we try to uh, be more self conscious we will not be uh, we will not be casual we will not be free in social gatherings inability to complete something you have started so if you put all industry and these kind of skills are not developed you start something and you end it so this these kinds of uh, problems happen when your school self is wounded so even sometimes you know people do lot of suicide attempts i have attempted suicide when i was around i think 10 or 12 years of age so uh, i think you had also shared uh, where 12 yeah 12 around 14 right yeah yeah so there, there is lot of this inferiority complex with masks <laughs> and also uh, inferiority complex when people <coughs> tell something to us we get hurt and these things uh, carry with we, we carry these things with us hmm? it's important to heal all these parts of ourselves and 